Right, we found our community tea room. What's this place? It's Saint Ninians. Eh? Saint Ninians. Saint Saint Ninians. What this place is called? Yeah, oh, community. Well, this the tea room is. <laughs> oh yeah, Saint Ninians. Saint Ninians. This is this is harbour. Like Saint Trinians. Saint Trinians. Oh look, we got some uh, swans over there. Paul, S swans. I'll zoom in. Look, swans. Oh, aren't they gorgeous? So this is the harbour. I'll be filming on the way out. The smell of sea. It's so lovely. There's quite a lot of birds. Seagulls. What are those little ones over there? They're called um, uh, sea oysters, sea catchers. No, sea catchers. Oyster catchers. So we've got oyster catchers, swans, seagulls, and some crows and stuff flying around. So we're going to go and get a cup of coffee because I can't function without coffee. So we've just come down the road from up there, from the campsite down here. So uh, we'll catch you in a bit. All right, we found a coffee shop. Look what I'm having for breakfast. <coughs> Paul's having a vanilla slice, a cappuccino, cappuccino. Oh, that's a nice doggy. Two doggies. <laughs> Hi. Well, sugar. Paul's just ridden off without me. He doesn't. He doesn't care. Just rides off and leaves me by myself as usual. Glass. Glasserton Church. We're just going down to have a look. We're not going in it. We're just going down to have a look because we've got a lot to film. Look, a dirt track, off-roading. Cows. Yeah, it pulls off his bike. I should just go down and have a look. I haven't got time to go in and... Uh, Oh, he's going in. Honestly. I said, just go down, have a look. Oh, grief. It means I have to stop with my recording and I've just stuck it on. I'll just leave this running. Uh, what can I do? Mm. It means I would have to stop recording, take the phone off and do it. Ah, oh, grief. Um. I'm going to have to pause, I guess Paul's going to be ages. I said, right down. Have a quick look, and we'll go. Oh no, I'm getting off my bike and film every little detail. <sighs> I haven't got time to stop every single place. We've got over a hundred miles to do today. God, I moan a lot, don't I? I'm going to have to pause this and come back. Right, I'm back. Have to wait in for Paul. He says, 
Oh, we've got to get a move on. And I'm sitting here waiting. And he says, oh, we must get a move on. Grief, honestly. Let's run him over and knock him off his scooter. <laughs> There's a man with a chainsaw. Doing a grand job there, look. Some good firewood there. Waiting for Paul. Waiting for Paul. We're waiting for Paul. But the memory card will be running out shortly. We've got two hours and eleven minutes. Waiting for Paul. Oh, let's go without him. Just leave him. These new tyres do make a slight noise because they've got the big treads on them. <sighs> Waiting for Paul. Come on, where are you? Grief. Where the goodness sake is he? I think he's still down at the blinking church. He hasn't even got on his bike. Honestly. He's just standing there. <sighs> I might have to pause the video again. I can't keep pausing blinking videos every five minutes. Get on your freaking bike! And stop standing there. He's probably talking to that guy with a chainsaw. Asking him how you ch ch sharpen a chainsaw blade. Chain, I mean. And I've already told him, I know how to do it. I'm going to have to pause the video again. He's not even um, on his bike. This is silly. Back in a minute. Right, he's coming at last. Oh, great. Came on the chat to us there, talking about the blades. <laughs> I've got to get one of those style sharpeners. I just told you that. I've just got the file itself. I know, I said you've got a clamp that goes on the bar. Yeah. I said that. Well, you know, I, that doesn't doesn't clamp on. It's just done on the on the. Anyway.
Oh, come and go back to Butterhead. You know, I've been sit I've been sitting here for ten minutes waiting for you. <laughs> well he's got four chainsaws uh, ready to go. He's just swapping over. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> See what you've done now we've got a great big tractor in front of us. And a bus and a van. See? This is Paul's fault. Thinking your fault we've got all this in front of us. I've got dust in my eyeball. I don't usually complain this much, honestly. Anyway. Roads around here aren't very good. old ruin there. Wow. An old ruined cottage in the wood. Here's another combine harvester. I didn't film the other one but this one's exactly the same as the one that went past. It's got great big tracks on it. Oh no, it hasn't. This one's got big wheels on it. I've got a combine harvester and blah 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 blah. Who are? There's a lot of wheat fields actually. They grow a lot of wheat around here. Must be good drainage. Oh look, an old truck! That's nice. Some nice flowers to the left. So this is the road to Port William. I can't remember the um, the road number. See, I've been up to Northern Scotland to, um, still haven't done my chin strap up. I've been up to Cape Wrath in Scotland. Um, I've been to the Outer Hebridean Islands, North Uist, South Uist. I've been to the Isle of Skye. I've been to John O'Groats. I haven't been to the Shetlands. 
that would love to go. Um, I've been to, well, nearly all the places on the west coast of Scotland. Get past this car. Um, but I've never been to the most southernest, southerliness point of Scotland. And I've always wanted to go. That means I've visited all four corners, apart from the Shetlands. The sea's over there to our uh, left. I'm hoping to see um, um, Northern Ireland. There's the police, ambulance service, I mean. What well, that is over there is a church on top of the hill. Looks like a ruined church. Might have to go and have a look at that. It's definitely a church of some sorts. I'm gonna have to go and have a look at that. Looks interesting. Must be a turn in here to the uh, somewhere here. Oh look, there's a there's a cottage here that's um, abandoned as well. Look. Oh, it's up a dirt track. Never mind, Paul. Look, an old cottage. Paul's going to say, what the hell is he doing going up a dirt track? These new tyres on uh, dirt tracks are brilliant. <laughs> Don't know if that's a church or not. I thought it was a church, but maybe it's not a church. It's just a ruined cottage, I think. Yeah, it's a ruined cottage. I thought it was a church, but it's not. We better not snoop around. I thought it was a ruined church. You thought it was a ruined what? Church. Because I thought it was a church, but it's not. Well, I wonder where the hell are you taking us? <laughs> this is the road to This is your new home. Hey? Well, it looks like they've got steel girders anywhere. They're going to build something big farm, I think. Yeah. Better get out of here. This is... Better get out of here. It's somebody's property. I thought it was a church. It's not a church. Anyway, I've got uh, Paul's clean bike dirty. <laughs> it's an old farm. It's a ruined farm. But obviously the farmer still uses it for storing stuff. It looked like a church from the distance. But it isn't. I wanted to do a bit of off-roading. It's good fun. It's good to see, because uh, it's the first time I've gone off-road with these new tyres and uh, these new tyres are a lot better than the old ones. <laughs> Paul was 
just in his bike this morning. It was rather funny. Now he's got mud on it. I better not go in there. There's a house over there. I don't want to go snooping around. <sighs> that was fun. You could probably buy that house there for a couple of thousand. Oh yeah, easy. And then do it up. Yeah. I'll help you. Give me two thousand quid then. I'll do the gardening for you. You get old house. <laughs> There's loads of abandoned places, eh? like a school, caravan park, Knock, Knock, K-N-O-C-K, I think that was. Some abandoned buildings over there as well. at uh, Monrith. I think I said that right. Well, I'll look at the coastline. So Isle of Man is I'm not sure. Is that the Isle of Man or is that Northern Ireland? I think that's Northern Ireland. Isle of Man's over there, so that's Northern Ireland. You can see Northern Ireland. Wow. Port William, A747. Access to beach and toilets. Wow, look at this. Just stop here for a minute. Oh, look at the coastline here. Wow. Look at this. So that's Northern Ireland. Maybe it's not. No. That must be the peninsula that we're going to go down on the bikes. Yeah. Oh, the smell of the sea. Well. Gravelly Beach. Well, it's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. Well, my hair gone. I think that's where we have to go. Yeah. Right over there. That's A bit breezy, but I don't mind as long as it's not raining. It doesn't matter if it's windy. I quite like it like it's. I quite like it when it's breezy like this, but it's no good for drone flying. I might be able to put the drone up for a little bit, but um, I'd have to put it in sports mode to cope with it.
This reminds me, this bit of coastline here reminds me of New Zealand. Macro Beach in New Zealand. That's at um, the bottom of the North Island near Wellington. Uh, you have to go through a place called Karori. And this reminds me of that. Oh. It really does. The, the, the landscape and everything is so similar to Macro Beach. Oh, I love the smell of the sea. Oh, it's beautiful. Now... Don't know where Paul's gone, he's disappeared. I haven't done the chin strap up. Next time I stop, I'll do it. Can't do it while I'm riding the bike. I don't want to take both hands off the uh, handlebars. Some people do it, but it's not worth the risk. I'm loving this. This is really, really lovely. I haven't seen any bikes yet. No motorbikes today. Can I get past? Yeah. William. We're at Port William. They've got a campsite here, look. A Volvo V70. And a Nissan pickup with a great big camper van on the back. So this is Port William. The houses in Scotland look like Scottish houses. They're different than the houses in the UK, um, in England. We've got nice little sweet cottages, community shop, a garage. What else have they got here? They've got Port William Hardware shop it's closed they've got an estate agents a spa tasty bits where's paul now he's gone down there i want to go down to the harbor Come on, Paul. Grief. This is the harbour, look. There's a yacht. I wouldn't mind a yacht. Fishing boats. <laughs> People working. Right, we're going to stop here for a minute. I'm going to do some filming with the phone. I think we can stop here.
that road that I went down there, was it coming round here? I don't know.